Okay, filming time. Let's do this. First time not having a bun in like the longest time. But we can do this. Okay, we can do this. This is good. Okay, let's make sure this is all angled right. Hello, my internet family. And welcome back to my channel. I'm Queen DeBay, but you can call me Debbie. And I want to start off by saying thank you for 200 subscribers. I literally plan to make a 100 subscriber special because I hit 100 subscribers last Sunday. And before I could even get time to film that because my life has been extremely crazy in the last week. I'm preparing for school to start up and it just suddenly got crazy. I got a second job and like things have been crazy. So I didn't get a chance to film that. And then I hit 200 subscribers like two days ago and now I'm at 230. So thank you for that. That's insane. I love all my little royal fam, my little internet family. We're the royals. It's great. It's great here. So much love. So much love. But yeah, so today I'm doing another Cartoon Conspiracy Theory video because the last one did really well and that's, I know that's how a lot of you found my channel and a lot of you really liked that video so I thought why not give people what they want and make a second video. So that's what I'm doing today. Now some of these conspiracy theories I kind of came up with. Came, I can't speak today. Some of these conspiracy theories I came up with my own. Like. Some of them I actually created, I think about two of them was completely like my thoughts. I didn't find these anywhere. And then a few of them I did find and then I tweaked to what made sense to me and what I made just made more sense. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. But so you know, I always leave my YouTube Twitter and my YouTube Instagram in the description. I'm active on Twitter if you want. You can DM me. We can be best friends. Maybe, maybe not. And then I have my YouTube Instagram, which I'm not really active on, but if you want to follow me on there. You should, and maybe if I had more followers on there, I'd upload more often. I don't really know, but yeah. Let's just get into this video because who wants to just keep talking for like an hour? Out of all the conspiracy theories that I found, this one has to be my favorite because it's just, it's funny, it makes this weird, but yeah. It is the Wall E conspiracy theory. And I've only ever seen this movie in French. Don't ask me why. French class decided to watch it. We watched it in French. I didn't feel the need to watch it again because it had subtitles, so I understood what was going on. But I've watched it in French. So, I've seen it, so I know, like, what I'm talking about. Just making sure you understand that. The conspiracy theory is that Wally -E is a cannibalistic rogue robot, that there was a bunch of Wallys -E and they were responsible for keeping the earth clean. They would clean up trash and everything, because you can see that Wally -E throughout, he just collects like trinkets and stuff, and then collect trash. And then the other Wally -E robots would take Wally's -E trinkets because they thought it was trash and throw them out because they're meant to clean up. And Wally -E didn't like this very much. That did not make Wally -E happy at all. So Wally -E went rogue and then started to destroy and kill all the other wall E robots and that's why that whole junkyard is filled of rope like m like metal parts because it's his robot counterparts pot pots counterparts his robot counterpart <laughs> it is his robot counterparts that he destroyed because they took his trinkets and he was unhappy so now he killed all the other robots and he's alone so that no one will touch his trinkets so if this means anything, don't play with Wally's trinkets. He's a cannibalistic rogue robot. Yep, cannibalistic rogue robot. The second conspiracy theory is about Pinky and the brain. This one, actually, I don't think this is a conspiracy theory. I think this is literally what the show is, but it's never, I don't know if it's said anywhere, I don't know if it's said in the plot or the Wikipedia, but this, it's, I guess it's like a like a mind game, like an illusion, like you have to figure it out for yourself. But the conspiracy theory, or what the actual show is, or like the backstory that's assumed to be true, is that Pinky is actually the genius, and Brain is actually the one who's insane or is crazy and who's always wrong. Because in the theme song, they say one is a genius and the other one is is and the other one is insane. I can't speak today. One's a genius, one is insane, but they never say which one's a genius and which one's insane. And if you watch the show, which I watched it sometimes, I thought it was kind of weird, I kind of avoided watching it. It was really like one of those shows that came out really late at night and you're like, I don't know if my mom would be okay catching me watch this. So I'm like, ugh, it's one of those shows. So you'd be watching it and it'd be like, it's weird, but they would come up with ide ideas for solving situations. And then Pinky would say something, Brain would listen to him, and then they would end up doing Pinky's plan anyways. 
So saying that Brain is the insane one and Pinky is a genius. That is the assumption that's made. Which makes more sense because, I mean, it'd be a plot twist, it'd be funny. It's one of those things that the writers never admit, but you kind of sense to be true. But they've never acknowledged it. I just thought that was interesting. This conspiracy theory is the one of the ones that I came up with myself. Less of a conspiracy, more of kind of like what it is. I'm going to start off by saying I'm not a vegan. I'm not even a vegetarian. I do eat meat. I don't have any pets. I like animals. I just want to clear that up before I get some comments saying, you wish for the deaths of all animals. You don't like animals. You wish to capture all the animals of the world and kill them. I dropped my crown. That play no things for getting serious when you drop your crown. Basically, this is about Pokemon. And if you think about it, Pokemon is literally enforcing the capture of animals and then forcing them to fight other animals to the death, which they never actually die. But you're fighting them to a death so you can capture that animal or you beat that person and now you win and then you win. But it's not like the animals are choosing to fight each other, it's people forcing animals to fight each other. And if you think about that, you realize that is pretty messed up. Because sometimes to even catch an animal in the actual show Pokemon, you have to injure it. Like you have to get your Pokemon to injure that Pokemon to a point where you can throw a ball at it and capture it and make it your own and then you keep it. And you're collecting them. Like if I went around in the world and started beating up chickens and I had a dog and I got the dog to attack the chicken, then put the chicken in a cage and just had a basement or a pocket, not, I couldn't fit cages in a pocket, but a basement full of cages of different animals. Do you not think you'd question me? Because I would question me. No hate, I do love Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go all the time. Pokemon is actually a really good show. I started watching it, I'm pretty addicted, but I just had to say that because if you think about it, it's kind of weird. It's, uh, it's just kind of a little bit weird. The next conspiracy theory is about the Powerpuff Girls. This one is kind of iffy, whether you believe it or not, whether you think it was kind of, kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. It's that each Powerpuff Girl represents a different personality of a single being that is never shown in the TV show. Because you know Bubbles is like the quiet one that's always like scared and she cries a lot and she's always like worried about everything. And then, um, oh my god I forgot their name. Buttercup is the green one, I'm pretty sure. Don't hate me if I'm getting the wrong, I have not watched Powerpuff Girls in a long time. Buttercup's like the mean one, she's always like down to do everything, like she's the leader, she's like she's bossy and everything, she wants everything her way. She's like the bossy side, Bubbles is like the, the crying, like scared side, the anxious side. And then, uh, what is the leader's name? She wears pink. Blossom, I remembered. And Blossom is the leader, the cool mind, like not cool minded, the calm person. Oh, like their head, like she knows what she's doing, she knows what she wants, and she's smart about it. So that's like different personalities of a single person. And then Mojo Dojo is a representation of someone who bullied that person we never see. So she's creating it in her mind. It's her personality fighting off the person who bullied her throughout her life. People say it may be her brother, it could be like a father that left her, or something like that, or like a childhood bully, or something along those lines. I don't think the professor side of this is really ever explained. You guys can go search this conspiracy theory or create your own ideas about what you think the professor might represent in her head or what it might be. I mean, it could be her mind just creating different personalities. It's not actually chemical X. It could be a representation of her being born and how her mind is not like everyone else's and they added too much of chemical X and it created her to have multiple personality disorders. But that is way too deep for me to even get into and not even cross the line. I just wanted to state that different personalities, representation. That's that's quite deep. A lot of this, 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 this video is quite deep, okay? Quite deep. So that is all I have for my royal fam in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers and I'm about to sneeze. I don't remember my life. My throat is so itchy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and choosing to watch me. And if you subscribe to me, thank you so much for doing that. Like, it's honestly really crazy that I hit 200 subscribers. I literally started this channel like consistently a little over a month ago and to see like 
people ask you want to watch my content, as you make me really happy, it makes me want to do this more. So thank you so much for that. I'm gonna keep uploading for people who watch my videos because honestly, I love doing it. I love making videos. I won't stop unless I don't have time. And school is gonna be really busy, but I'm gonna make sure I make time to upload videos because I want to make sure I put in the best content I can for the people who support me here on YouTube. But I hope to see you guys in my next video. Like I said, all my social medias in the description. You guys should follow me. You guys can message me, tweet at me, DM me, anything. I will literally always reply. I always reply to comments because I think it's important that I interact with people who support me, the people who subscribe to me, and the people who watch my videos. I just wanted to say that to make sure people understood that I'm actually thankful for this and that I'm not taking this for granted and that I'm not doing this to be famous or not doing this for money because I think on YouTube at this point there's so many people who are doing things like this just to become famous and just because they want money and that is not my intention. I literally started this channel because I was really bored but I'll get into why I started YouTube maybe in a future video if that ever comes up and anyone ever wants to know but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye! Your reflection in my wine glass That's when I look away Can't stand and think about losing your fine ass How the fuck I let you slip away Life for the party but I'm dead inside Kill my vibes, it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify One time for the girl that got away Two times for the girl that got away